guys, Zul'jin here, and welcome back to another episode of Orc Modded. So yesterday, I said that this episode I would get some carrots online so we could tame one of those freaking awesome horses. And unfortunately, there's none to be found around today. There is some sort of dangerous wolf <laughs> from that Four World Myth mod. I'm just going to start calling them myth creatures, okay? Because that's easiest way. Hey! I'm trying to do an intro here. Dang, man. <laughs> so, what I've decided to do is work on another thing today. I got a couple tools put together like I was supposed to. And, um, oh, it's time to eat, apparently. And I, uh, I, I decided that I was going to... I did get carrots online, so the farm is working as intended. I recruited a couple little crappers to help me out. They are working overtime and crapping all over my house. But I've been... Uh, I've been I've been working on it, so it, it's it's it it works, man. I I got plenty of um. Hold on, I can't put crap in the water faucet. Here we go. Anyway, uh, I've got a few carrots online and stuff, and I've also installed the vendors. Now I wanted to put the vendors, the bounty hunter vendors, outside because that's where they look great at. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm really scared that one of those creatures comes around and just wrecks them all. Uh, they're not really expensive, but I don't want to have to remake them yet. So I just installed a second floor and put them in temporarily for now. So we have the architect. We have the currency exchange. We have the soup kitchen. We have the trader and we have the merchant. So it all kind of starts with the trader here. The trader, you access their inventory and you can trade stuff. So uh, all of the trophies that you can find, uh, you can trade for bounty. So even stuff like this. This is, uh, you could do, what is this right here? This is the death worm horns. This is the alpha raptor claws or there's also spino fins. So check this out. We're going to put the spino fin in there. And now that we have this in there, we can craft the bounty so we got a thousand bounty for that okay pretty cool right uh for the thousand bounty we can actually get we can we can get the lesser supplies as well so you can trade them in or out for bounty which is pretty cool so now that we got a thousand bounty what can we do with it right so we have a merchant here the merchant has a bunch of different resources you could buy, including pain in the butt stuff to gather. Um, my favorite is element. Now, it's really expensive. We would have to find 50 of those spino fins for one of these bounties. But the fact that you could get element just by collecting other stuff is really, really good because some resources are really easy to get, right? Um, so that's basically where it's at. It's nice. You could get veggie cakes, refertilizer, all the stuff that's really pain in the butt even propellant man uh which is which is really good so now that we have that we look over here the soup kitchen is also awesome all the aggravating cooking recipes that you would normally not make because except for special occasions like battle tartar you could do that you could just make it right up and stuff even easy uh old um uh, lazarus chowder and it gives you five lazarus chowder for two thousand so that matters pretty good, man. Cactus buff soup for 400. You could do it for even simple foods here. So here's another thing here. This is for the currency exchange. So all you have to do is trade in what you currently have if you want a specific type of currency, uh, which I thought was pretty neat. It all looks like it's in multiples of hundreds or thousands. And last but not least is the architect. And the architect, you can trade just about anything. So look, flack, you need royal bounty for this. This is desert cloth blueprint or below. I don't know how. So 6750 tier one flack blueprint. And this is tier six cloth blueprint. So you could craft blueprints. So instead of having the upgrade station, this allows you to kind of buy blueprints kind of like the iron banks so to speak it's a really really neat feature i really am excited about and i'm looking forward to doing some of that also something a bug to report really quick uh i can put away my torch now the hg multi-storage box mod is broken it's costly it don't work like it's supposed to pick stuff up 
and uh, let me go ahead and gamma here. It's supposed to pick stuff up, but I tested it with multiple things yesterday. I went to pickup modes and tried a few different things, the last one being fiber, and uh, the fiber did not work. I tried uh, single units, I tried multi units. I don't know if it just doesn't work with stacks or if it just doesn't work. Um, some of the functionality is there, like you can go to show range, for instance, and if I go outside, it's gonna show the range that the box is in. So I, I I imagine that it would work from there, you know, but it, it, it hasn't. So I'm not really sure what the deal is. Uh, this goes away in just a few minutes, but it's unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, now that we got all the vendors up, trophy hunt, it's, there's a whole nother reason to kill uh, the mobs and stuff. So we definitely want to search for bounties. I leveled up my guy just a little bit, and I think... That he's starting to really shape up. I call him Dozer now, man. Uh, I went ahead and gave some movement speed and some more health, and and he's been picking up quite nicely. Look here, we got Sorco skins, we got Allosaurus brains. We're already starting to rack up some stuff for turn-ins. Uh, well, excuse me. There we go. Um, let's let's go trade this in really quick. And we will trade it in for, I guess, did the Allosaurus brains actually, hmm. So I can craft this for 400 bounty. But the, ah, apparent, oh yeah, here we go. This is to trade in for the Allosaurus brains. Okay, so I got 1,600 more currency. Pretty good. Um... I'm going to actually leave the currency, I think, in here. I think that's going to be a good spot. That way, when I accumulate it as I need it, I'll just pull it out. Because that's what we're going to be coming over and over and over again. Uh, so let's see here. We, I would like something a little bit better to tame. A nice flyer would be good. Um, but I'm not real sure. Taming one of those modded horses would have been really great right i mean it would have been nuts i've also been leveling melee damage a little bit now that i could buy mind wipes whenever uh with currency i'm a little bit <laughs> i'm a little bit less reluctant to try out some stuff and my buddy stub seems to think that um adding melee damage and crafting speed could um deal with um the spell damage so i guess i can try it out on this uh this harmless guy here let's go ahead and uh just try it out also, I got a couple other spells that I can play around with today. Let's see. So, roughly the same amount of damage, and I've pumped a ton of melee, man. A ton. So, I don't think that does it, Stub. I don't know if it's not designed to do that or whatever. Uh, he also said with the upgrade bench, which I don't have in this mod pack, you could upgrade the actual um, upgrade the actual quality of the uh, the items. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go, so it should be fine. Look at this guy. Yo! Who's that? That's you, Stub? That's me. You playing a female? Yeah, they're nicer to look at. Uh, I, I, I agree. You're looking pretty mu fine, Mama. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, I'm recording a little episode. I'll holler at you in a bit, brother. Alrighty. <laughs> Still playing a female. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, so let's go and uh, and see what we can find along the river, shall we? I really want to see if there's a tame that I can pick up that is uh, that can get me into uh, alpha killing and things of that nature. This seems to be one of the safer ways up, right? Um, oh, look, there's Sarko skin right here, just waiting for me. Yeah, Sarko skin, baby. I don't think you'd get anything from turtles. <laughs> Not really a, um, a real dangerous creature there. I am moving fast, too. This new movement speed is nice. I basically, I think I doubled it or tripled it. It's quite a bit higher than it was yesterday. Look, more Sarkos over there. And a bear. No, don't kill it. Oh. The bear killed the Sarko. Well, there goes a little bit of bounty. Uh-oh. That's a scary sound. Let 
very scary sound. All I want to do is find that horse that was playing around. Oh boy. I don't know what that thing is. I need some crystal, man. So I could so I could scope it out. I don't have any crystal yet. I I think I think we need to try to explore up a mountain to find some crystal while we're just out looking. I bet you anything there's crystal up there. Well, maybe not. It's only a green tower, but there's some metal up here. That's a good chance. It's 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 possible. It's possible I could find some crystal around here, but I doubt it. This looks more like a hill than anything, but it's nice to know that metal's right here. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go down where everything's a little bit more visible. And I think maybe there's some crystal over there. Let's let's try it out, you guys. Let's try it out. Every once in a while, I have to zoom in. Look at that thing. I don't even know what that... It looks like a... Some sort of super giga. Some sort of myth creature. <laughs> really good looking. Crazy looking models, man. It makes you just go want to go look at it and tame it. So mysterious. They look so different than anything else that I've ever seen. Alrighty. Um, I am not seeing anything, man. Not nothing. It doesn't look like there's any crystal on that side either. We might have to go to something like that over there. I wonder if that's even a thing. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's go down. Did I just not take fall damage at all? That's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Maybe we have to go all the way across and up that mountain. Hmm. I still don't see no horsies. Still don't see any horsies either. Oh, I'll bet... Is that rare flowers? Oh, baby, it is. I'm just gonna grab a few while I'm here. I know I'm gonna need them sooner or later. I don't really need to tame a, um, a what you call anymore, a mosh, a mosh hops, but I'll still, uh, I'll still pick it up. What's after me, Sarko? Oh, it's um my favorite creatures in the world. I mean, you're gonna die, sucker. I'll knock everything out. I'll knock it all out. I ain't scared. I got 10,000 or my fool. What? <laughs> Vanilla creatures? Get lost, sucker. Alright. Um, can get Titan Bow of Venom. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm interested in killing everything now, not just for the XP and all that, but it's got it's all got so much purpose now. Um, I think the magic number we need to stop at right here is gonna be a hundred thousand. Also, I haven't accumulated a whole bunch of chitin yet, so it might be a good idea to grab some while I'm here. They only give thirty. Uh. Well, apparently that one wasn't dead. It is now. <laughs> Dozer hit it like a truck. Like a dozer. All right. Let's see if I got anything up here. Nope. I had to check just in case. It's time to go up the big mountain, I suppose. Oh, you do take fall damage. I don't know how much you take, but... Uh, this thing is take. Is that an alpha? Nope, it's just a Corno. What? That must have just been a high level Corno. Good lord, baby. Dang. Yep. He was just hardcore. All right. Let's cross over and go to that mountain. I have no idea what I'm going to be looking at here. What are you doing swimming in the water like that? So... Oh, what I oh, I think the biggest challenge is going to be me getting to the top because naturally um, the slope is going to be a problem, especially for an animal that can't jump. All right, Sarko skin. 
Got it. Good. Move, piranha. Nobody likes you. Uh, we might have to get off this thing. Yep. God dog it. Come on, baby. Sarko got you stuck and you can't harvest it, huh? Cause you're an Irby. You don't wanna you don't wanna eat no stupid alligators. God dang it! Look at this. Go to sleep, stupid. <laughs> Sarko's everywhere. Sheesh. It's dangerous out here. Thankfully, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of set, man. This myth stuff is really, really nice for early game in this crazy mod. What the hell? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No fire drinks. No fire drinks. Let's try this side. It's a baby turtle. All right, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get where I need to, y'all. So, i tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me park somewhere where I know it's relatively safe. Not that this is real safe, but I mean, unless something comes down to get it, I should be fine, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn this, turn the follow off, okay? And let's get, um, let's get some, uh, some jumping going on, huh? Let's get some flight. Also, I got a level I should probably check into. Uh, start going forward again. I'll check on that level later. <laughs> Stamina's fine still. Oh, it gets all jumpy when I'm rendering in like this. Yeah, no way I was going to slope this with a dino. What the hell is that over there? Ah, crystal. Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes. 39. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough for what I need. I was just going to get a ton of it while I was here, but I don't want to fall too far off the beaten path with all this commotion. That is uh, a couple of aloes. I wonder if I have the stuff to make a spike glass right now. Yes, I do. Ooh. <laughs> There's actually a really, really good one that I want to make. That cell mod that I have installed. Really want to see that. Okay. So, now that I have that, I can look at whatever that is over there. Um, no. Seven, man. It's trying to get me. A wild male saber tooth. It's regular O. Uh, nothing to it, man. Nothing to it. Tell you what, um, we are right. That saber tooth, I think it might want to chase me, but because I'm free balling, there's my little trike. Uh, I love it, man. I can get resources like this. This is really cool. You can avoid almost everything without getting. Just a regular flyer and totally dependent on it. What the hell is that over there? The green mess. You can come meet me down here if you want, baby. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we made it, man. We've made it. Cool stuff. All right. That's much less dangerous than, uh, than trying to go uphill with it and, and, and falling down and all kind of stuff. It would have been nice to be able to kill that saber or whatever, but for the most part, that's pretty good. Okay, I still want to explore a little bit and stuff. I guess I'm going to run around until I actually find something um, that is worth taming, you guys. 
Well, this is something you don't see every day. I heard a loud crashing and I was like, what the heck is going on? Look at this thing. Hold on. This is a wild myth. Bazia? It's basically a teched out <laughs> Dodecurus. I have no idea if it's going to be something that we can passive tame or not. But I'd like to see what we can do. So first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of this scorpion. I don't know if it has any kind of shock wave on it or whatever, but let's whistle passive. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just try to smack this Carno. Yeah. He's asleep. He's asleep. Is the Dota Cure is gonna try to kill him? He's hitting him. I'm guessing. It's like he's stunning him. So, I don't know if, uh, ouch. So it only did one damage to me. Only one. I'm guessing that because it attacked it, it's probably not going to, um, probably not going to respond too well. Yeah, it, it's got a shockwave, man. It's got a shockwave to it. And it finally stopped attacking. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. So it's, it doesn't appear to be aggressive towards me. And it does not appear to be something that we can't... Look at this tail, man. Wow. <laughs> um, it doesn't appear to be a passive tame. Whatever it is. It doesn't say, you know, put put food in or whatever. I have no idea if I could tame this thing, but I'm gonna hit it a few times. <whistles> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I have no idea if this is something that I can get down or not. This is, it's probably ridiculous in stats, right? Probably has ridiculous stats. It acted like it was running away for a second there. As what as much torpor as I do with this thing, it seems like <laughs> I would have knocked it out by now. But you never know. It could be something really absurd. What does this thing eat anyway, you know? It's not attacking anymore. Okay, it's out. Wow. Um, <laughs> guys, it had 70,000 torpor. Okay, what's it eat? Um, hold on. We got this. We need to kill this Carno right quick. Just in case it eats meat. We already got a ton of berries, so I'm not really worried about that. I wonder if I can harvest prime with this. Yeah. Probably a little bit better. Okay. Good. I got plenty of meat and stuff. Let's check it out. Um, first of all, let's do berries. Got a lot of berries. Okay. Let's just do... Major berries. Where did I even... Oh, they're all in my hot bar. Okay. It says put... Oh, it's taming. It's taming. How about this? Let's put the carrots in. Will it eat carrots instead? I don't know if it's going to eat carrots instead. 3.1... So it's only a level 130, but look at the stats. I mean, 10,540 health. At the very least, this thing is going to be amazing for harvesting stone and stuff. It's got... Is that 6,600,000? 6 
It's one, two, three, four. No, six hundred and sixty thousand weight. Uh, wow. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna wait for this thing to tame up. <laughs> Just guard it with our lives. I I didn't expect to do a uh, anything but the passive tame, but it turns out, man, this armor is is really, really, really something. <laughs> So we just got to see what happens here and um, we'll bring you guys back when it's tamed up. All right, guys, he is about to wake up. And I got to say, I'm pretty excited to see if I could just ride him or if I need a saddle, if he takes a special kind of saddle. I didn't even look at all that. Uh, by the way, the spyglass that I'm using now is a different version. I forgot it was so easy to craft. There's a couple versions of this, but the cell uh, spyglass is really, really good. Like... I can view statistics, for instance, like that. Look, you see that? Health, 102,573. Yeah, it shows the torpor and everything. It's pretty good, man. Pretty darn good. Um, there's a better version of it that shows all of the stats, I believe. But this guy should be tame. Now, this is a Ba Zaya. Um, if I look at... Yeah, he's up, baby. He is up. I'm going to call... Let me... Hold on. Let me look this up for Ba X, none than that. Uh, let me see. Myth. It doesn't look like there's going to be... I might have to craft a myth saddle from it, but I'm not too sure. Um, what I'm going to do, I can't, I can't... Oh, I can ride him. Holy crap. No saddle needed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to right click. Yeah, same thing. How about C? Nothing with C, nothing with X. What the heck? Okay, so he has 11,781 health. He bumps up, uh, he heals almost instantly. Wow. Um, his, <laughs> I'd like to see how hard he hits. I don't need to pump his weight. I think we know that. I think I'm going to work on his movement and stuff a little Ooh. bit and see what I, I can't believe. He's coming with me like this. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me try to hit this guy. 334. Not the most impressive amount of damage in the world. Oh, if I'm pressing forward, he actually has a forward attack. And it looks like he has some sort of a stun. Look how fast he can attack. This thing ain't too bad. Let's hit a rock. Let's do what we're supposed to do, huh? 1915 stone. Oh, baby. This is where it's at, man. This is where it's at. So, do I break rocks by rolling through them? I do not. So, I'm not I'm not that high on the food chain, y'all. <laughs> it's, it's not that crucial yet. Um, so, we're going to need to get back home with this guy. I think I'm heading the right way. If I can get to the water, I'm pretty sure that it'll be easy for me to get back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so melee, he get... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. The movement is really slow still. All right, how about how about we get in the water here? Uh oh, that ain't good. Get him, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Quake. That is so impressive, man. That is so impressive. Well, guys, we are going to get home with these guys. I hope y'all really enjoyed the episode. It was a lot of fun recording it. Next time we come back, we'll get into some more mischief. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.